Hey goddess, you've got to try this recipe. It is hearty, it is delicious, it is super nutritious. Great anti-inflammatory fertility recipe. You're going to want to make this. And this is a recipe that can kind of morph into so many other directions, but this is a good base. Get one butternut squash, small to medium size, cut it on the short side, and then take each of those two pieces and cut them lengthwise to make them easier to handle and use your potato peeler to peel them. You're welcome. Such an easy hack. Life has never been the same since I started cutting them and peeling them this way. And uh, it's, it's a quick process when you do it this way. And then you're going to want to cut them into cubes like this. So then I grabbed one organic zucchini. Incidentally, zucchini is one of the more heavily GMO farmed crops. So you're going to want to make sure you definitely buy organic non-GMO zucchini. I chopped up all the green pepper I had, which is just like a quarter of a piece. That's just Gigi, by the way. She's waiting for her plate. And uh, one green pepper I cut up. Uh, I cut up about a quarter of red onion and uh, two knobs of ginger. Get them all ready. Set them aside. This is one large crown of broccoli. Um, and I went ahead and soaked it in baking soda and water and cut it into small pieces. And I'm going to saute that in coconut oil. Uh, or olive oil if you prefer with about a quarter cup of water just a quick saute you want this to still be tender or al dente because you're going to add it into the stew later on all right so this i would say let this steam with that water for no more than five minutes and take it out after that add a little more oil to your pan and let's throw in our garlic i added some chopped garlic probably about five to six cloves I added my onion and ginger, and we're getting a nice saute going there till it get, the onions become translucent. And this is where the magic starts to happen. I'm adding about two teaspoons of curry powder. I'm adding uh, about a few dashes until I hear the ancestors of garlic powder. I'm gonna add uh, some Celtic sea salt, a few dashes. Um, and I'm also going to be adding thyme until I hear the music of the drums of my indigenous ancestors here. Keep going, keep going. A little razzle dazzle, a little ba 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 ba. This is going to be so good, I promise. Add it to your heart's content. This is what I came up with, and give it a nice little mix around. Let all those flavors uh, become more melded together. Get acquainted with each other. Your fire should be on uh, medium heat, not too hot, as you are building and layering in these beautiful flavors and aromatics. So we're going to saute that for about four to five minutes. And then I added in my green pepper. I'm going to let that mix in and get acquainted. Maybe after about three minutes, add in the zucchini and your squash and evenly distribute by tossing everything around into those wonderful seasonings. Meanwhile, I've put on a cup of quinoa and two cups of water, brought it to a boil, reduced it to a simmer, just to show you. Um, mix everything around and it's starting to smell delicious. By the way, this is something that I made with kind of not a real recipe so um, like I said this is a foundation for um, a recipe that could go in many different directions you could add coconut milk and make it a more of a creamy curry I didn't have any um, you know you could make it less savory and add a hint of sweetness you could add more uh, spice um, more ginger cinnamon and go that direction but uh, you know that's not really my that ain't my feng shui so we're going to keep it popping. Everything's getting nice and sautéed. So the skinny on this dish, butternut squash, zucchini. These are great foods to not only keep you satisfied and satiated, which is huge for staying on track, staying on your whole food plant-based lifestyle to shrink fibroids, but it boosts fertility. And this is going to be rich in fiber, which is going to help to combat estrogen dominance. Here I'm adding in one uh, chopped. I was out of diced tomatoes. I didn't have any. So I chopped up one large tomato and I added it in because like I said, we're winging it and I'm making this kind of on my own um, 
just out of my head with what I, I had in the kitchen. But if you have a can of uh, diced tomatoes, um, BPA free, of course, if that's even a thing, just do the best you can um, or make your own tomato sauce from scratch, which I may do for you and along with you one day in a video, but I'm going to keep it real. I didn't do these things all the time and I still managed to shrink fibroids naturally. Um, I think it's all about always detoxing in a healthy, easy way that is sustainable to reduce your toxic load. So, um, my detox was doing what it definitely should be doing. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add in about a quarter cup of water um, just to continue to build a light stewed um, broth type of a finished product here. Um, I didn't have any veggie broth made, so let's just say I'm winging it and making my own. So anyway, um, we're going to add that in. I'm going to taste some of the broth to see if it's seasoned to my liking. And I did end up adding a little bit more thyme, um, a little bit more Celtic sea salt, a little bit more garlic powder. Right about now, our quinoa is looking delicious, delicious, delicious. And I let it simmer and went ahead and added our stars, made their, made their great debut. Um, that al dente broccoli, I added it back in. And I'm going to stir that up, give it a good mix in like so. And this is really a delicious, fresh, fibroid dissolving, fertility boosting, waistline whittling, baby, plant-based poppin' dish. You have to make this. Like I ended up eating it for breakfast the next morning, which kind of reinforces a point that I mentioned maybe like a few years ago. Somebody asked me how, what kind of things do they eat for breakfast? Cause options are limited eating whole food plant-based. And I'm like, I usually end up eating something that I had for dinner for breakfast. If it fits the flavor profile that I am craving, having a taste for anyway, if I had something for dinner that meets that flavor profile, I'm probably going to have a little bit of it for breakfast. And that's what I did. So, um, this is the finished product and just something else to note. Um, I thought about adding some beans, which is another example of how you can carry this dish into another direction. Um, my preference would have been kidneys. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but, uh, I decided not to, I decided to go ahead and that it was wonderful where it was, particularly because broccoli is one of my favorites, right? When I had fibroids, even when I didn't have fibroids now, like having broccoli is almost like having something hearty like meat in a dish. Sometimes broccoli becomes the star for me. I could eat a lot of broccoli and I did incidentally just for those that are like, well, what did she do to shrink fibroids? I ate lots of cruciferous vegetables, which you should know if you've listened to any of my videos, they are natural liver detoxifiers, liver supporters and natural estrogen dominance. Uh, reversals in, from nature in the form of plants. So I ate broccoli all the time because it was very satisfying and like having a main dish, a main course, a main star of the meal. I would saute it. I would stir fry broccoli with something else and it would be very satisfying. So just note that I didn't add any other proteins. I mean, these veggies do have proteins, by the way. This was me having a little bit of it for breakfast the next day, <laughs> just to show you that, um, you know, I'm really about that life. But wait, before you go, I have St. Lucian Gold Sea Moss. If you have not tried my sea moss, baby, what is you doing? Okay, we got the St. Lucian Gold Wild Sea Moss, very healthy. We already know it's got the 92 minerals that the body needs. But then I also infuse my sea moss gel that I make by hand to order with superfoods, nutritious revitalizing herbs to add vitality, oxygenate your cells, and help you shrink fibroids. This is an example of one of my flavors. It's called the Green Machine. It has um, a lot of nutritious superfoods like wheatgrass powder. Uh, I've got some hemp protein powder. Super, super nutritious, bestseller. Uh, and then also, don't forget, you've got to grab every month my Buy Fibroids Tea, Best-selling tea helped me shrink fibroids and my Green Goddess Fibroid Detox Smoothie Powder. You need the tea and you need your smoothies and you need the sea moss to have a well-rounded foundation to shrink fibroids naturally. Other than that, all you're missing is 
a subscribe, a like, and a follow to this account. Peace, love, and fiber and release.